Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today, I'm gonna to show you a super easy way to get the full version of Minecraft, the Java version of Minecraft, up and running on your Raspberry Pi 4. Now, in the past, I've actually never done a video on this, and mainly, it came down to ease of use. I personally never found an easy way to install it, so I never did a video on it. But that's all changed with the addition of this app here called Pi Apps, and this is actually by BotSpot, I recently did a video on installing Zoom and we used PyKiss to do that. And in the comments section, I had a few people mention this application here. And basically, it's an awesome Raspberry Pi app store for open source projects and it works really well and there's lots of great stuff in here and it's super easy to install. So in order to get this installed, we gotta do two lines in terminal. I mean, it's super easy. I will leave a link to the GitHub in the description. This is the Pi apps or BotSpot GitHub. First up, we're gonna clone this. We can just copy this and paste it right into our terminal. You can open up terminal from up here or press control alt T on your keyboard. You will need to be online for all of this to work. So we've cloned Pi apps. Now we need to run the install home Pi Pi apps install. Yeah, it is required, but it's not installed. Do we want to install it now? Yes, we do. So choose yes here. It's going to get everything up and going for us and it's pretty quick. And there it is. We now have Pi apps on our Raspberry Pi. So you can actually launch it from the desktop right here, or we can use the drop down. We'll go to accessories and you can start Pi apps from here. So we're gonna go ahead and launch it. I just zoomed in a bit so we can get a better look at this and it's constantly being updated with new apps. But as you can see here, Chromium Media Edition, this will allow us to play Netflix, Hulu and HBO on our Raspberry Pi through the Chromium browser, Commander Pi, Cool Retro Term, and tons of others. We even have Cura on here and Discord. So if you want to install any of these, you're just going to highlight it, click Install. But this video is focused on Minecraft Java, and it's listed right here. So is PyKiss. We're going to choose Minecraft Java, Install, and it's going to do all of the work for us. And this installation is fairly quick also. It's going to close itself in 10 seconds but it's installed for us. So we can go up to our drop down menu, games, and we have the Minecraft launcher right here. This is the Java launcher, and this is Minecraft Pi, just a cut down version that works on the Raspberry Pi. We're gonna go with the Minecraft launcher. I'm gonna start it up. And since this is the full version of Java Minecraft, you will have to have an account. I'm gonna sign in real quick. And here it is. This is the Minecraft Java launcher and it's up and running on the Raspberry Pi. You can actually click play here, but there's a few little things I'd like to do to my profile. So I'm gonna to go to edit profile and right here in the Java augments, you're gonna see a little line that says XMX 1G. What I do is turn this one into a two and now that's gonna allocate two gigs of RAM for Minecraft instead of a single gig. Now, personally, I haven't noticed a big performance jump just by changing this, but if you ever get up there with a ton of blocks on screen and it does take up more than one, this will help out. So we're gonna choose Save Profile, and now we can actually play. But I would recommend overclocking your Pi. For me, I have my Raspberry Pi overclocked to 2.1 gigahertz. I have several videos on overclocking. I'll leave a link in the description. And my GPU is overclocked to 750 megahertz. So we're gonna choose Play and I'll show you some of the settings that I use to get this to run better on the Raspberry Pi 4. Okay, so first things first, we are running this on a low powered single board computer, so we do need to change some options here to get it to run at an acceptable speed. We're gonna go to options, video settings. I turn bio blend to the fastest, graphics to fast, smooth lighting off, and basically anything else that will affect performance. So entity shadows is set to off, Particles are decreased, clouds are off, and uh, yeah, that's about it. I mean, you can experiment with this, but when you do start playing, I would recommend going full screen with it, and you can set your full screen resolution up here. I usually go 720 to 480. Even with this overclock, we're still only going to hit about 40 to 50 FPS. Unfortunately, if I do go full screen with it right now, my whole game capture setup messes up on me. So just give me a second here, and I'll recoup. I'm going to choose Done. Done, single player, and we'll just create a new world. All right, so now we're into gameplay. If you press F3 on your keyboard, it'll bring up everything. And as you can see, 
this is running really slow. Up in the top left hand corner, we're at about 6 FPS, but I'm going to set this up for full screen. I still have everything up and running, and it is running a lot better, and as soon as everything starts caching into memory, it does run really well on the Raspberry Pi 4. If we take a look at our CPU here, we're using that ARM V7, it's a Broadcom CPU, so we're still on the Pi. It's using the Mesa 2.1 driver, and we've set it up to allocate 2 gigs of RAM from the Raspberry Pi. Everything's listed on screen now, and uh, yeah, I mean, I'd say this is playable. Personally, I would actually go back into the options and set it at 30 FPS. And keep in mind, this Java version was never really meant to be run on an ARM CPU, but it does run on the Raspberry Pi 4, and with the correct settings, I'd say it runs pretty decent. It's definitely not as good as a cheaper Android device, but if you do want to play the Java version of Minecraft on your Pi 4, it's totally possible to do, and it's really easy to set up on the Raspberry Pi 4 using the Pi Apps application. And there's a lot of stuff that can be done with Pi apps. It just makes it so much simpler to install different applications. Like you saw with Minecraft Java Edition, we have Cura, Discord, and tons of other applications that can be installed with Pi apps. But that's pretty much it for this video. Really appreciate you watching. All links for everything mentioned in this video are in the description. And I want to give the devs of Pi apps a big shout out. If you don't want to get Minecraft Java Edition installed, at least try Pi Apps for a different application that you might use on your Pi 4. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.